Labor Day weekend is the traditional end of summer on Lake Lanier. So far this year on that lake, 11 people have drowned or died in boating accidents. While it may not seem like a lot of numbers, that's the average with hundreds of lives lost since the lake was formed in the 50s. Trying to recover the victims has <clears throat> proven to be a risky job. 11 Live's Caitlin Ross has an exclusive look at the dangers lurking beneath the water. It's a beautiful day and it looks very serene, a, a perfect boater and recreator's paradise. But when you get beneath the surface, that, that's not at all what you find. The Forsyth and Hall County dive teams, which are part of the fire departments, respond to every search and rescue call on Lake Lanier. They know the lake about as well as anyone can, but even they can be surprised by what's hidden in the depths of the water. Recreation was a side note for the project. That really wasn't the, in, the intention of Lake Lanier. When Lanier was first created back in the 1950s, the goal was to provide more water and hydroelectric power to growing Atlanta. But people started flocking to it, and it never stopped. Its serene waters belie what's beneath the surface. So as they were building the lake, the, the hazards that we know of today really weren't part of their focus. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers ran the numbers for us. These are unofficial and approximate. But since Lake Lanier was formed in the 1950s, there have been 500 boating and drowning deaths, hundreds of rescues through the years, and 27 people who have never been recovered, souls lost to the depths of Lake Lanier. I couldn't imagine as a father, as a brother, you know, as a son to see one of my loved ones disappear and, and have to go by this lake every day and just wonder. The dive teams deal with one of the most dangerous underwater habitats around. And you can see anchor lines and lawn chairs and fish and string. And within 20 feet from shore, on even a gentle slope like this here, it becomes very difficult to see. And then much more beyond that, you can't see it at all. It is virtually impossible to see. Underneath are homes, barns, an entire forest. This video from the bottom of Lake Lanier from the DNR shows just how much divers can see, maybe a foot in front of them. Just at the shore of the lake is a perfect example as to why the lake can be so dangerous. Erosion eating away at the lake, but it's not just on the shores. But this exact feature repeats itself out there in the water, and that's what, what makes it quite dangerous. Some of the underwater hazards have been added since the lake was built by construction crews. And that's why it's so critical for people to wear life preservers, whether you can swim or not, because you can step off this ledge and in one step drop two feet, six feet, 30 feet in some places. Still, for every call made about a missing swimmer or boater, the dive teams gear up and risk life and limb to make a rescue or recovery. Because they care. Why are we firefighters? We want to perform a service to humanity that means something to us. 